In this demonstration, we're going to look at configuring software metering rules. Software metering, extremely useful. What it'll allow me to do is it'll allow me to see exactly when users are using software. So if I'm deciding that I'm going to buy some software, maybe I've got the evaluation copy, I could use software metering to see if anybody's used the software, because if they haven't, what's the point of buying it? Also as well, potentially, users may install applications that they never use. So at this point here, when it comes to relicensing the software, we can then target the licensing based off the actual usage of the application. We we'll have to go through a number of steps in order to set up software metering. So the first thing we're going to look at here is just configuring the software metering client agent. We'll then have a look at configuring the software metering rule. We'll have a look at the ability of Config Manager to create automatic software metering rules. And then we'll just talk about the reports that we have potentially that we'll run in order to see if people are actually using the software or not. Now what we've done to start with is we've come into our Config Manager console. We've come to the administration workspace. We've come to the client settings and we've come to default client settings. So again, I can either modify the default or what I could do is create a custom set of settings to push out against devices. But we'll right click, we'll just come to properties. Then what we'll do is we'll just come down to our software metering. And under our software metering, it's very, very simple settings. Enable software metering on clients, yes or no. And then we can specify when we collect the data. So what happens with software metering is we store all of the data locally on the client device we then send that data up to the Config Manager server and ultimately out to the database. So we're happy that all the settings are in place. So happy with all of this. So we'll just select OK. Next thing we need to do is just configure a software metering rule. So in order to do that, what we need to do is come to our Assets and Compliance workspace. Within our Assets and Compliance workspace, we come to Software Metering. And what we can see below Software Metering is we already have some rules in place. But if you have a look, you'll notice that enabled is set to no all the way down. So even though these rules exist, we're not actually collecting any data relating to these applications. But one of the things we can do is we can create our own. So if I right click on software metering, we'll create a software metering rule. And then what we'll do is we just need to fill out some information. So I'm going to call mine WordPad rule. Then what we need to do is we actually need to specify the file. So I'm just going to click my browse button. I'm just going to browse through to C colon, and within C colon, then I'm going to come to Program Files. I'm just going to come down to Windows NT, and then within Windows NT, I'm just going to go to Accessories, and within Accessories, I'm just going to highlight WordPad and select OK. So as you can see, we've got the file name WordPad.exe. Original file name is WordPad.exe.mui. We can see the version, we can see the language, see any description that's in place, and we can apply the software metering rule to something. So we're going to apply to any client assigned to S01. Then what we'll do at this point here is we're just going to come in here. Um, in the case of language, let's just change the language. So I don't know whereabouts in the, uh, the world this is being used. So let's just change that to any. And what we're also going to do as well is we're just going to get rid of that version. And we're just going to stick a star in here because we want to find any version. So I know that we've modified those settings there. We'll just select our next button. Select our next button again. And then we'll select close. So now what we've got, if we have a look down at the bottom, we've got our WordPad rule. We manually create this one. This one is enabled. So now we've done that, we can also as well get software metering to automatically create its own rules based off some variables or some settings that we put in place. And to do that, we come to software metering, right click and just come to our software metering properties. Within our software metering properties what we're going to do is we're going to retain any data relating to software metering for 90 days I'm actually just going to reduce that to 30 just for purposes of the demo then automatically create disabled metering rules from recent usage inventory data so these automatically created rules here we're specifying the percentage of computers in the hierarchy that must use the program before software metering rule is cre automatically created so we're seeing at this point here 10% fairly happy with that Specify the number of software metering rules that must be exceeding the hierarchy before we stop actually creating rules. I think that's a bit high. Let's just drop that to 25. Now we modify those settings, just select OK. So now the rules are in place, we will be monitoring WordPad. Once we want to monitor WordPad, what we want to do is we want to take all that data and we then need to present that data to whoever's interested in that data. And we can do that through the monitoring workspace. And what we have is if we just scroll down through our reports, so we're currently in our reporting reports node on the monitoring. And if we scroll this down, what we find is if we keep going, 
what we have is we have software metering reports. So in the case of software metering reports at this point here, we can run reports against devices, computers, and we can have a look at information relating to the applications that we're currently metering. So for example, all software metering rules apply to this site. Nice simple report, we'll run that. And what that will do is that will tell us all of the software metering rules that have been created and applied to devices in this site. So if we have a look down, there you go, we can see all of the rules. Close this down, other reports that may be of interest, so computers that have a meter program installed but have not run the program since a specified date, so really useful from a licensing point of view. We can have a look at computers that run specific metered software program, so again, quite important to know that if we are going to actually buy software based off evaluation software, that people are using it, and as you can see, we have a number of reports. We won't go through them one by one. And that's the end of this demonstration.